Hi, this is Jill with Crick Flex. I'm not actually showing you how I did these and assembling because this was a very, very, very huge project and it would have taken forever to show you. But these are going to be all the cars and I did all of these on my Cameo Silhouette. It is for a birthday party. Each one of these is double-sided and they are all at least two feet to, um, in size, either by length or by height. They all have little special happy birthday banner. Um, I have done some faux stitching on the wheels and um, again these are print and cut using images off of Google. I put birthday hats on them for, because this is for a birthday party. I'm going to back up here and show you all of them as many as I can get in here in this video and then I'm going to go in and show you one at a time. I can't remember their names so I'm not even going to try. Uh, this one I do know is Ramon. I did him up high um, and I put little gift boxes on his tires like he's holding them with the birthday banner and his hat and again these are all double sided and I showed in a previous video how I figured when they have writing how I can flip it which is let me pull him aside push him back and pull him forward Rusty he is huge and what I did on this sign is I went with my silhouette cameo I cut out the sign flipped it and then I welded it on to the flip side so that Rusty is not spelled backwards on the flip side he's got a little set of balloons here that he's holding and see in the Mac that's written on his truck is also flipped so that Mac is on the right side on the written in the right direction on the back side. I'll push him back and let me see who I have here. I showed you her. Um, we have Sheriff here and he's holding some balloons and wearing a hat. I did not put a happy birthday tag on him. And Sheriff. Oh, I hope I remembered to flip it. And I did. On the other side, it says Sheriff the right way. Again, all I do is copy and cut out and flip the, flip the image and then uh, put the writing over it and weld it. Actually, I don't weld it. I group it. If you weld it, your, your image will turn all the same color. So you don't want to do that. Here we have the main character for the party so he's holding a great big balloon that's personalized that's McQueen he's got a happy birthday banner here he's got a personalized balloon that says happy third birthday Logan he's wearing a hat and this is the one that I always have the trouble with on the flip side um, I did do faux stitching on his his tires um, and I'm going to flip him over and show you the other side and there we go this is probably something that I can show um, on a videotape on my my computer as I'm programming it um, if anybody's interested I'd be more than happy to do that here we have who is that Hudson Doc Hudson and He's got the hat on and the banner. They all ready for the party. And see Doc Hudson on the other side is and the Twin H Power. Um, and what I did on some of these pieces on um, the uh, Sheriff and on the Doc, I pop dotted some of these pieces, some of these layers here, so it gave them a little bit more dimension. You can't tell in the film but um, they're not just flat they have this is pop dotted out so he looks like he's in sections and then I'm going to move him to the back and grab him and pull him forward these are really really big and let me see here then we have Mater and what I did on here is I made sure that I had all my little pieces cut out so you've got the the um, 
instead of this being solid I made sure all of those and I had to do this by hand with the knife feature on the silhouette cameo he is done all of them are done in sections because again they're huge you can't do them in one piece this is one section this is one section this is one section his head up here is one section you have to really mess around with it on your mat in order to get it in numerous pieces because again they are absolutely impossible to do in one piece even with a 12 inch printer because these are not you can't do it I am going to look and see if I can find 12 inch by 24 inch paper that is not that lousy Provocraft um, paper I don't like it because it's single core and you can see through the sides and um, I apologize I have my my board sitting on top of the crib that's where I do my filming as long as I don't have a baby in there one of my grandkids I'm good but it works really good for filming but anyway I hope you enjoyed um, the next project I'm going to be working on is finishing up some huge centerpieces of um, Toy Story and it's going to be Jesse with the lasso and Woody with the lasso um, stay tuned thank you and have a good day bye bye